Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video, as you might have guessed from the title, is going to be a how to understand CMX or combat metrics. I've seen a lot of people come into my Twitch chat and ask across multiple discords, is this okay? Is that okay? They just don't know what to look for in their passes or how to find the where to improve part. So we're going to break down all the parts and learn what you're looking at. I myself was the same, so I had a knowledgeable friend, Bro Morith, give me a crash course. I'll leave a link to his Twitch in the description. I myself stream five days a week at twitch.tv slash itsify underscore. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by and ask or join our Discord. Links to those will be in the description as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, to open CMX, go into control settings and bind it to a key. You want to bind the toggle fight report. You can also type slash CMX into the chat to bring up the window. So I'm going to load one of my passes that I've saved to use in this example. To save a pass, click here. To load a pass, click here. The first section to note is the top left corner. This is the fight stat window, which is shared with the combat log and the graph windows. We'll get more into that later. The main thing we'll be looking at here is your active time. This is the time you are doing damage whilst alive during the fight, not to be confused with combat time, which is the overall time from start of combat to the end of combat. Also your damage, your group's damage, and your percentage. In a trial, you'll be looking to be doing about 12%. That's the goal. That's it for here. Now, going from left to right, we go to the stats window. Starting from the top, we can see reg or regeneration and drain. The gist of this is that you want it as close to each other as possible. Moving down, we have some colored tabs you can select. Blue is Magicka, green is Stamina, and red is, you guessed it, it's Health. Select yours that is appropriate to your build. I'm a Magicka build, so I'll be selecting the blue one. Now, you can see there are two columns, Effective, meaning Average, and Max. So we already know our max stats from our character sheet. We can look at two things here, your crit and your overpen. Crit is kind of simple. It will vary with different types of builds, so ideally you want your crit over 49.2% because that is the point that the Shadow Mundus is overtaking the Thief Mundus DPS wise. When it comes to overpen, this is important. Note that a target's penetration cap is 18.2k and a trial dummy is 5870. So you want to bring your pen as close as possible to these numbers. You do this by adjusting your spell erosion CP if you're a mag or piercing if you're a stam. This will change with update 29 with the CP 2 point overhaul. If you're in a trial, the cap will be 18.2k, so you need to coordinate with your group or look here to see if you are over or under penning. On a trial dummy as a mag build, I don't use any CP in spell erosion and I'm still as close as possible to the pen cap of 5870. Moving on. Over to the right, we have the uptimes window. The first thing to note is that you can favorite things here, moving them to the top of the list. So for buffs, the things you may be looking at here are buffs such as Minor Force or Major Slayer. The way you do this is by right clicking and add to favorites. It's now at the top of the list. There will be a lot more, it will depend on your build and your group really. If the color is bright, it means it was applied by you and if it was dark, it was applied by somebody else. The same thing goes for the debuffs. The drain tabs are there to monitor your sustain. You can see how much something like a spam ball is costing and decide if it might be more beneficial to use a different one. And now we move on to the window that catches everyone's eye. In the bottom left corner, we have the target window. Here you can see all the targets that were hit during that fight. You can see the DPS and damage done to each individual target and the percentage is how much of the overall damage that fight went to that target. If you want to see the skills and buffs and debuffs on a specific target, you can click it here. Now we get to the abilities or skills window. Here you can see all the abilities that were done during that fight. By clicking and highlighting a target in the target window, you can see the abilities used on that target. The things to note here are your light attacks. As a mag DPS, your light attacks do the most damage, so they should always be first on top. And most stand builds, light attacks will also be up there. You want them as high as possible. Here you can also see the average damage an ability did, such as an execute or even the max. For the crits and hits, you can look at this column to see how many of your attacks were crits. This is really helpful if you're farming crit passes. Another little thing is you may see duplicates of an ability. If one has an asterisk next to it, it means it's dot damage. Now we are through the first main page, which is the bulk of this. There are a few other things to look at. You'll notice some tabs on the left split into two groups of four. Here we will start going from the top and work our way down. 
If we're in the damage clause tab, we're going to go down to healing done. This is useful for healers to monitor in the same way that DPS monitor their damage using targets and abilities window. We've got our damage received, which is how much damage we took, and our healing received. This is where you can see how much healing you took during that fight, not how much healing you did. Now, moving into our second group of two, we're already in the fight stats window, and we're going to go down to the combat log. Here, you can use this to break down each and everything that happened during the fight. Using the little tabs up top, you can select certain things that you wish to monitor as well. And now we move down again to the graph tab. This can seem a little bit intimidating at first, and you may not really know what you're looking at, so let's get into it. First of all, there's a little button up top you can use to enlarge or shrink the graph. Second of all, you can use the smooth slider to change how large the intervals are. For me, I like 5 seconds. Now, there are two lines that you can see. The red one is your total DPS. This will be what is displayed in something like the add-on Hodor Reflexes. And the yellow is the exact damage you did at that second of the fight. You can do a lot in here. You can change the colors of things that you're monitoring. You could add other things to monitor. Healers may want to monitor their heals. Tanks may be incoming damage or heals. You could monitor your resources, your stats, your performance, your FPS, or even your ping. Now that's out of the way, let's finish up with a couple of last things. Our last tab of the second group of four is the info tab. Here it will display all parts of your build. There is only a couple of things to note for this tab. First off, by hovering over any skill, piece of gear, or champion points, we'll bring up their details page. On our bar skills, we might look at something like the weave column or the time column, where we can see the average time since the last time you cast that skill. So looking at my wall of elements, having an average time of 11.37 seconds and knowing that wall of elements runs out after 10 seconds means that I can work on getting that down to 10 or as close as I can to minimize the time it's not active. Last for this window, below your skill bar one, here you have an average time and a total time. The total time is the one to look at. It is the time during the fight you were doing nothing. As you can see here in this fight, I was doing nothing for a total of 85.6 seconds. You want to get that as low as possible. And the last thing we have to look at is the options wheel. Here you could choose to show the IDs for abilities, which will put a number with the abilities so you can track them with add-ons such as Surrender. You could hide or show your pet stats. You could post a DPS in the chat. Note you can also do this by binding a key in the settings. If you post in chat and see a plus three or something in brackets, that is just how many of their targets were in that fight. And then you have the add-on settings. A pro tip, if you're trying to save your pass but you don't have enough memory, you want to go into the add-on settings and turn the saved fight memory up as much as you can. And that's everything that I know, or I've learned so far. I hope this helped you understand it and it helps you with your pass. Maybe you'll be able to help a friend with their pass. If you know something I haven't added in here, please feel free to let me know in the comments or stop by my Twitch at twitch.tv slash underscore. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, drop a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.